Hi and welcome back to a singles functions video here. So we're going to talk about automation lanes here. Someone asked me a question about how to have several different automation lanes. So when you open up automation here, you'll see all these different lines underneath that I've got on this track, but you can only see the volume here, right? Now if you click here, you'll see all the other lanes that have been recorded as automation data right okay so i've got five lanes at the moment so if i want to add a lane it's quite easy just go to latch to record for example let's open up the sampler uh turn on the filter here the second filter and record that so if i just hit play Of course, I'm just doing anything here so you can see this. So I've done two lanes at the same time there. I added the sample cut, cut off one here and then the resonance got its own lane as well. Then we already had this recorded. So it add, adds a lane each time you record. Doesn't matter what plugin it is, it will automatically add another lane for each function that you use. So even though I've only used three plugins here, You'll see the channel, EQ, the compressor and the sampler and the volume, they each add a different lane to what function you're using. So pretty straightforward. Uh, then go back to read and you can see them underneath here. You can see them literally on, on the region itself. And But here is the list here. So you just say so you want the volume, got it there. So you want the compressor thresholds, you've got it here. There you have the automation lanes, pretty straightforward stuff. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Don't forget to leave comments and all that kind of stuff. Very important. And I will see you soon. Ciao.